Hello everybody, my name is Answer and welcome to Government Simulator, a game of spreadsheet. Who doesn't love spreadsheets? So we're going to start a new game. We can play as one of six countries. The United States, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, France, and Russia. So it's the United States is easy, Germany medium, very easy, difficult, very difficult, and very difficult. So, um, who, who, should, who should we play? Apparently there's also some downloadable scenarios. Let's see, who do we have in here? Canada! I am Canadian. Sure, let's, let's do this one. I won the election! I am awesome! From now on, you'll full control of this country and the whole legislative period of Canada. If you do your work well and consequently your approval rate is good, you might even get re-elected. Okay, so... Well, the government simulator... You know what? Don't show the tutorial. I've kind of seen a little bit of how the game works. So we'll kind of see. So right now we're Q1 2018. We have 195 billion income. I believe this is quarterly. Oh yeah, it's Q1, obviously. So we have a little bit of a $10 billion deficit. 9.42. It's right there. We're 1.4 trillion in debt. 35 million people. We make 1.5 trillion a dollar a year. Like right now we have a 50% approval rating. That's okay. We're somewhere. We're, at, we're right here, obviously. So we have 92% GDP, or GDP, debt to GDP ratio, 51.5 public health, that seems pretty bad. Uh, 1,296 crimes, state of infrastructure is at 76. So apparently these, these are the bad things. I'll post a paper if we were completely insufficient for the budgets for, um, uh, rescue. You know, that does seem like a problem. So as far as I know, we have about 20 points here. So if we go to, let's say, this one, which is completely insufficient, we're not... We, we need more doctors. If we increase it, you can see here, then we need 61 points to boost it up to $3.3 billion. So undo the chain. So right now we're paying about $477 million a quarter on some doctors. Now that seems... Apparently it's, it's pretty bad. So let's try to get that up to at least, like, okay. Yeah, so there we go. We'll have, like, a billion doctors. Well, not a billion dollars. That would be quite a bit. We're just going to spend about a billion dollars per quarter on that. A 127% change to the uh, the hospital budget. So we're paying four billion on the hospitals. We're paying one billion in the physicians and rescue services, and that seems like it's okay. But you know that is a half a billion dollar increase, which is quite a bit. So let's see what we got in finances, banking, taxes. Uh, apparently, it's excellent. Everything here is going pretty much great. Uh, so the body for collecting. So this is based on the CRA. 35. I mean, apparently it's excellent. We're doing great here. So how about, I think we can go to taxes in particular. So right now we got a sale tax of 10%. I guess, is that average across all of Canada? Because I know in Ontario it's 13%. So how about we try and increase this to a standard of 13%. So you basically put everybody on Ontario's level. Inheritance tax, 20%. Severance tax, income tax. Well, you have three points. I know I've, every turn it does build up. Of course, there's some other things here. I know that in laws, for example, we can write a new law and we can go to... You know, we can become a dictatorship if we want to, but I know you need at least, you know, quite a bit of points in order to do that. Of course, we're going to do some other things like torture surveillance, but I think for now... Minimum working age is 15, 18. Minimum wage is $8.19. That's not that's not accurate at all, but sure. Uh, I see. Is that the federal minimum wage? I'm not even too sure. Let's increase that just a little bit by ten cents. Fantastic. And uh, retirement age sixty-five. I mean, we have one point. We I don't know if we can really do anything with one point. So let's go to the next quarter. Apparently, I should probably also time this. That would be that would be pretty useful. So let's see, have I made Canada better? Probably not, but uh, we'll see. Okay, we've now got good economic growth. Note of a headline, police helpless fighting crime. That does seem like an issue. Your debt, to your debt ratio is very high right now. Optimize your budget. You know, fair enough. So let's see, we have, a, we have increased economic growth. 8% approval rating. We're less corrupt, I believe, even though it's a negative 1.23. I think that is a... That's a benefit, right? It's good that that's going down. So yeah, people, people think we're doing pretty all right. Um, let's see. Uh, so police are helpless in fighting crime, debt crisis. 
the public health is getting... I, I doubled the amount that we're paying physicians, so hopefully that should go away. Okay, well, we'll take a look at the police in a minute, so... We can give a few interviews. Okay, so for the security, I think that's under. So police. I mean, it's just enough. Prisons, sufficient, intelligence, more than needed. I mean, it seems like it's going all right, but apparently if they have an issue... So... Let's increase that to a sufficient 19%. Education right now, we're up more than needed. I mean, education, like, education's fine. I I'm fine spending more than what we need there. Finances, which we've already kind of looked at. I think maybe we need to change the taxes again. 33% income, corporate tax, property tax. So what the hell's a wealth tax? Bank deposits, currently 2%. Quarter, okay, so we've earned 50 billion. So that's 28% of our incomes there. 7%, 2.3%. 0. 0.3%, so that, basically changing this is not going to do anything for us. Where do we get most of our income then? Mostly from sales. 3% of the income. We're not taxing any of these things. Severus tax. Alcohol tax. Like, okay. How much is this giving us? Eight billion dollars a quarter. That's, a, that's quite a bit, is it not? I'm getting 59 from there. So, let's go back to overview. Right now, it was impossible to look at this. Well, I mean, we're only like a hundred million dollars shy of actually earning more than we're spending. So I feel like we're actually, we're doing a pretty good job. Doing a pretty good job. So is there anything here that we can pos possibly cut? Communications? Like the CBC? We'll cut down the CBC a little bit. Internet. Postal service. I mean, like something like drinking water does seem like that'd be important. I mean, it's all it's all good. I mean, everything here. I mean, not nursing. We don't have enough nurses apparently. You know, in concert halls, you're getting a you're getting a tax cut or a spending cut. And you know what, museums? We don't need museums either. While we need we don't need museums, we need money. So screw the arts. That's fine. Have I done anything to make things better? Look at that. 95% of the people would re-elect us, so we're doing pretty alright. It does seem to be a little bit a little bit skewed, because I don't I don't believe there's any government in the world that can get a 95% approval rating. But uh seems like that's doing pretty good. So you've instructed at least 80%. Congratulations. It's now okay. So this going down is better. Now look for the economy, it's very bad. What do you mean it's very bad? Apparently the economic growth has actually gone down. 95% approval rating, we are the greatest country on earth. Okay. Prime rate's going down, this is all going down. The debt ratio, I know it's very high. And I, I haven't really fixed it. I mean, we've, we've put it down a little bit. Like, we're making money now. We are making money. So we're... Slowly but surely going to earn more. How would you try to pass a law? We have 21 percent. We have 21 influence. So, um, that's GDP ratio. What can I do here? I mean, it's, it's not good, but it could be a lot worse. Prime rate press. We can just abolish health insurance. That seems like that'd be a good thing to do. Definitely would save us some money. So retirement age, punishment. Well, let's let's try running a new law. Compulsory vaccination, gender equality. Well, this is all social. I think we can focus on the social stuff later. We need to improve things for the economy. 
a cash ban seems a little bit extreme if you ask me. Like, nah, you just can't use you can't use cash anymore. Got to use debit. Flat tax. Generally, I'm pretty sure flat taxes like always are bad, right? Let's subsidize small businesses. We'll give, we'll give them like a two percent. Maybe like a one percent. I mean, it, the default is 0. 0.5, so we'll pass this law. What's this one? Buy government bonds, tourist subsidies, art subsidies. Well, we did kind of cut all of the art stuff, but. Well, so let's, let's do some subsidies on getting some electric cars as well. A 1.4% percent of the budget, actually, actually. That's quite a bit for the budget. Okay, let's actually go back to uh, their default 0. 0.5. We'll add that as a law. And we will go to the next quarter. We'll see how that kind of helped. Actually, I think that we've, we've only spent money, actually, this turn. So, we probably haven't done anything. Crime rate. Oh, look at that. Crime rate's going down. Look at that. Everybody's living longer. It's great. The crime rate, 24% change. I, like, have the crime rate in half a year. I am so good at my job. Sure, the economic growth is going down, but it's fine. It's fine. Corruption is going down. Approval rating is 100%. Everybody loves me. The greatest government on earth. Okay. So, once again, we're still we're still technically making money. The budget for the space program. Look, I am more pressing. That's not a pressing issue. I know space is cool and stuff, but I think we have more important things to worry about than the space program. So let's see, crime rate, that one's already going down. What is, what is unemployment? That's 5.9%. So what can I do to get more people in getting jobs? Well, uh, public relations. Most of these are not ready to go again. We can start some military conflicts, but uh, we can invade the United States. Generally seems like that could be a bad idea. Okay. Pollution, more laws, legal hours, so we can work 40 hour work week. Does lowering this, is this lowering better or is lo increasing it better? Okay, so working more than 40 hours is overtime, even though it's not. Minimum working age, I mean, that all seems fine. Let's increase minimum wage again. 8.7, sure. Unions, that's A-OK. -okay. I mean, the corporate tax is at 27%. Income property tax, social services, social security, I should say. Uh, alcohol tax, tobacco tax, coffee tax. Well, you have 12 points right now. You know what? We're just going to pass this. We'll pass this turn. We'll kind of see what comes up next. And see, you know, we'll see what we'll see what people are saying. Is the Elvis isn't trustworthy? No, absolutely. You guys are right. You cannot trust those other guys. Who are the Elvis? I don't know. There's, they're just whoever's there. There we go. The crime rate is less than 800. Economic growth. Look at that. A four per, or like a five percent swing. Crime rate's going down. Education is getting better. Wonderful. Look at another 20 percent. You cannot, nobody breaks the law in Canada. No one. Economic growth, 0.4.7%. GDP is going to 5.5%. I should run the, the country. That's what I'm getting. I should be in charge. Okay, fantastic. So we're down to 87% here. Unemployment is, it's steadily going down. So I think for right now, that's fine. We'll kind of ignore that. Public health, still not very good. Okay, so we need public health insurance. We're at 90%. We'll throw that up to 100%. There we go. So everybody has free health insurance. Wonderful. Um, so 
the legal framework for pregnancy termination? Well, under circumstances. Okay, well, we'll do that. We'll kind of... I believe that this would get our health points higher. I mean, that makes sense. Maternity leave... This does seem low. Duration in months after birth. So we'll throw it up to like half a year. I mean, right now, it's about this. Six and six. So we'll kind of put it in like what we're at, like in actual Canadian terms. Uh, write a new law. Okay. Gun control, prostitution, one child policy. Let's reduce. Oh, like a 30%. 31% uh, reduced cost in public transportation. Seems like that could make the environment better. Maybe people will have more jobs. I'm not too sure, but it seems fine. Surveillance, torture, anti corruption. Let's pass like an anti corruption bill. A very strict. Well, we'll have like a rather strict anti corruption bill going on. Fantastic. Next quarter. How do people feel about us now? I, I believe 110%. Uh, population growth is increasing. Infrastructure. Look at that. It's even better. Public health has improved 60%. You just told me it was getting better, the neutral reflector. Look at that. Corruption's going down. Crime rate, 20%. I've reduced crime rate like 80% in a year. Well, I think that's about 66%. But still, we're great. We're great. Sure, the economy gone down by quite a bit. But, you know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hump. It's a, it's a little bit of a hurdle. We'll get through it okay. The shadow economy, not even too sure. What the hell is the shadow economy? Um, I know that's somewhere, but I'm not too sure what actually is. Apparently we're spending much more than it's needed on prison, so how about we just like reduce that a little bit? Save about a... I don't know what that What was that, like a billion? Almost like $0.3 billion. That seems fine. I mean, nobody's, nobody's committing crimes, so why do we need, why do we need prisons? Unemployment is good. Health insurance. Well, let's, inc let's increase social spending a little bit. Apparently, once again, we're kind of insufficient here. So, how about we, like, increase... We'll throw a stupid amount of money into the hospital system. And a decent amount. I mean, this is going to cost us quite a bit, but in the long run... Tripling the amount of money we're spending in the healthcare system is probably going to be a net positive. Would you say the government has weakness? Oh, look at that. Senator said no. We are we are the perfect government. It's, it's getting a little bit better. Crime rate, once again, it's just a down road slope. Ever since we've been elected, it, it's just been perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at these numbers. Crime rate, uh, down another 20%. Quarter after quarter, 20%. Okay, so. Budget for space program, nursing services. Yeah, sure, we can throw a little bit more into, into nurses. But what, what are other issues that we have in the country right now? The most pressing, women's shelters. Let's throw a little bit more into the women's shelters. Sounds like a good plan to me. Look at this. Approval rating, 100%. GDP per capita, 48,000. Education, state of the infrastructure. The tax burden's getting worse, but eh. One thing getting worse when everything else is getting better, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. To have the world's best country, you have to pay a little bit of taxes. It's just, it's just how it goes. Um, value now. But what we're can I think we do still need a little bit more money. Uh, I can't even tell what the difference is. So maybe they're like exactly tied. Let's increase corporate tax by like, uh, by, you know, 10%. Seems okay to me. Let's increase to the next quarter. And this is, are we in 2020 yet? 
Oh my, attacks burden is getting worse. Eh, well, we'll end this episode or this video next quarter. Public health, we're almost at our 80. Once again, 50% down on the crime rate. Corruption's going down. Economic growth's going up. We are just so good. I am so, so good. So good at running Canada. Okay. You know what, space program? Throw, throw a billion dollars at that now. That's probably... You know, we'll increase that a little bit. Why not? Why not? Sales tax. Wealth tax. Social security dues. Uh, I think a 10% coffee tax. That's quite a bit. Okay, so. Can we do some more things with public relations? Absolutely. So we'll give, you know, give some public tops. Give a little bit of an interview. Seems fine by me. Okay, so we need more money. So let's see. If we can, let's see if we can write a new law. Yeah, I mean, forges gender equality in all areas of rights, establishes equal areas of resources, may affect our people, the population. So none of this gives us money. So, you know, let's have our people be vaccinated. It seems like that's also a good thing. Uh, do, 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 government spending. What can we cut? Almost all of our money is actually going to Social Security. $115 billion? That's actually... That is quite a lot. So we can drop like $15 billion in Social Security for now, and I think that'd be okay. And let's see, how did that make Canada even better? 100% of the country. Public health at 80%. Look at that. I mean, I have improved the, the GDP ratio. I don't really know what you're talking about. What's the unemployment rate actually at right now? 4.99%? And once again, even employment's going better. But I do think this is going to be a good time to end this video. So if you want to see more of Government Simulator, leave a comment down below. Leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.